gute Planung. Good planning is made up of several elements. One is the climb itself, that is the level of difficulty, the length of the climb, the approach and descent. Stable weather is a basic requirement for alpine climbing. Only if the weather is stable should you start your climb. Your climb must of course be suitable for you in terms of difficulty and length so that you're not out of your depth. The best place to find information about difficulty and length is in a climbing guidebook. This contains exact details about climb difficulty, the route, the length of the climb, and information about approach and descent. This is all summarized in a topographic map. This is a graphical representation of the information you need for a climb. The most important thing I need for planning a climb is a climbing guidebook. This contains information such as approach, driving directions, and a topographic map of the climb. There are of course good and bad climbing guidebooks, but good guidebooks contain information such as the climb's crux to describe exactly what difficulty I'm getting myself into. A topographic map contains information such as the route, pitch length, anchors, and so on. If I want to find the start of a climb, a picture of the rock face often helps. With a topographic map, I can read the details, but I'm missing an overview, so a picture of the rock face can direct me to the climbing route. A topographic map particularly helps during the approach and descent. During the climb itself, it's probably less important, but for the descent, it's always good to have the map with you. You can find details in the climbing guidebook on approach time or the duration of a climb, though this can vary significantly depending upon your speed and experience. However, if you plan well, you should be able to get back before dark. Ideally, I would plan extra time on top of the time indicated in the guidebook, because I could mess up during the climb or fog could mean I missed something. Over time, you of course learn how to judge whether you're a quick rope team or a slow one, and then you'll know if you need to plan extra time or not, or whether you're even faster. You should always have a plan B on alpine climbs. This means if the conditions change unexpectedly or if something else gets in the way, you'll have an option for retreating or an alternative destination so that it doesn't lead to a catastrophe. When I finish planning, I just need to pack my backpack. After planning, I'll know what needs to go in. I recommend packing really light and taking just the real essentials with you, making your climb much more enjoyable. In alpine climbing, plans and reality often differ somewhat, and that's why it's important to stay flexible. We also talk about rolling planning, which means adjusting to prevailing conditions and adapting the plan or destination accordingly.